Welcome back to Spray River Homestead. I'm Kanan. I'm Nikki. And today, it's September. Can you already believe it? I'm feeling it, but I don't believe it. <laughs> it's hard to believe it's already September. This morning we kind of walked around and thought, boy, it's going to be snowing before you know it. And we have a standing rule that we could expect snow around Halloween. So we started looking around and thought, what do we need to do before, kind of before winter hits? So today we're going to talk about the things that we have to do before winter. So even though everything's still going good right now in the garden, um, we're already getting down to 30 overnight. So we're uh, frost covering the vulnerable stuff, but what that means is it won't be too much longer before everything is ready to be harvested out. And as soon as we get everything harvested, we'll have to go through and do the annual shutting down of the garden, which is pretty much, you know, getting all the, the plants out, dead or alive, <laughs> uh, getting all the weeds pulled, throwing a little manure on it, mulching it in with straw, and then going ahead and shutting it down for the year. So as we wind down the garden, like Nikki said, the next thing is gonna be butchering excess animals or birds around here. So we do have some extra rabbits we need to take care of. Uh, plenty of birds that we need to put into edible form, I guess you'd say. <laughs> yeah, we've talked about this on a lot of different live streams and videos that we're cutting a bunch of our flocks this fall. Um, they're older birds anyway, so it kind of needed to be done. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of stuff that's going to have to be culled out and butchered, which unfortunately means a lot of time with the plucker. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so another thing on the list is that we need to get firewood. As you can see behind us, the firewood bins are empty. They need new covers, especially this one, which kind of we didn't use last year, so it didn't get a new cover. And then once those firewoods are full or the firewood bins are full, we need to get the fireplace cleaned out. So I do an annual inspection on the fireplace, get it completely out, take all the bricks out, kind of wash them down. And then the chimney gets scrubbed all the way up out the ceiling and out the roof to make sure that we won't have a fire there. So those two things are big ones that we do to make sure we have heat over the winter. Now, one of the big things I typically have to do in the fall is get the barns clean. So one of the barns is over here. I need to go through and get all the stalls cleaned out and prep for winter. So typically we get them cleaned out of all the manure or anything else that's been brought in throughout the spring and summer. Get that all cleaned back to a base dirt floor and then we fill it with straw. That way the animals can come in out of the wet of winter and have a nice dry place to kind of bed down at night. It doesn't take too long. It's usually a weekend or two of work and it's pretty much done. What's the tractor sitting right here? This is an easy one to talk about. One of the big things we always have to do every winter is get everything ready for winter with oil changes, fuel stabilizers, you name it. I check everything. So the tractor, the quad, uh, any of our trucks, cars, anything that needs to be stabilized that we don't really use over winter or it just needs an annual oil change, that gets done right, well, by right about now. Another thing on my list is painting. So you can see that we've been painting over the last couple of years and a lot of things I need to do is just touch ups here and there uh, around some of the door eaves, around some of the windows needs to be finished up to kind of check it off the list. So once the garden's done and all of the butchering has been finished, that means more time for canning. So I really try and do all my canning throughout the year. That way I'm not bombarded at the end of the year, but it never fails that once you've done a bunch of butchering and uh, finished up the last of the gardeners always a whole bunch to can so I'll have to do some taco meat um, I'll probably make some sloppy joe sauce and um, we'll see what else we've got vegetables and meats for but a little bit of everything still to go and um, just a, a probably not but five or six more cases of canning to do so another thing that needs to be done this year um, as we're shutting down the garden it also means that we're going to start putting in the garlic for next year. So a girlfriend of mine gave me some great garlic from a friend of hers who uh, grows commercially. And I also have some other garlic on order. So these beauties will all be getting divided up and being put out in the garden here pretty soon. I am going to go ahead and do uh, a late sowing of some radishes and um, probably some lettuce I can go ahead and do. Um, it you know, it probably won't last but a couple of months, but we'll get something. And uh, that's kind of one of the last big garden chores is just going to be that. And I've got to divide out my strawberry plants here very shortly and get them redistributed for next year. So hopefully we get a good strawberry haul. 
So fall also means that the incubator is about to be turned off for the year. So usually we finish up our last hatches um, in September and by the end of September it is done. This year I'll probably go back to using my little tabletop incubator periodically through the winter to keep going with the quail. Uh, but as far as chickens, turkeys, geese, and all the rest of that, the incubator gets turned off uh, and, you know, everything gets sanitized and left for the winter so that we're all ready to go in the spring. So that's going to be very, very soon. Uh, right now I'm trying to decide, do I do one more chicken hatch or just let it go? And we haven't decided that yet, uh, but I'm going to have to make that decision this week. So uh, another big thing and probably the last big thing that I need to get done for the year all right, so there you go. There's our 10 things that we have got to get done before winter. I'm sure a million other little things will pop up because it always does. It always does. It never seems like the list goes in order. And <laughs> it seems like every day it seems to change because it's always dependent on weather. And a lot of times, especially, uh, it's still pretty fire, pretty much fire season. So we can't get out there yet to get firewood cut. Um, I've already got some split of some donuts that were left from last year. But we can at least get out, uh, start getting the garden wound down a little bit. I can clean the barns. You know, some of the other things I can do today and she can do today. Um, but, you know, like last year, we were cutting firewood in December when it was frozen in the morning and thawed kind of about 10, 11 o'clock. And you're having to mud bog it out, trying to get out with a full cart of wood. Right now, the 15-day forecast has no more, no more moisture in it. Uh, next weekend, it looks like 90 again, Ooh. and then back into the 70s. So what that does mean is that the garden is probably on our way out. Yeah. But, uh, oh, yeah, when we're going to get to firewood season, I don't know. I'm really hoping we're not going to just have to give up and buy any. Yeah, it's possible. We've done it before. Just we'll see how it goes. But that's it. Those are the 10 things that we have to do basically in the next two months to meet our target of snow on Halloween. I doubt we're going to be that lucky, but it's good to have a plan anyway. It is. That's it from Sprague Homestead. We'll see you next time. Happy homesteading.